Hello there, you proudly welcome to this quick tech tutorial brought to you by Datex. My name is Akos Smiler. We are here again with this powerful video. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some basic comparison between Excel and Access. And at the end there of our objective is that we'll all come to a solid conclusion regarding their differences, when and how to use the two applications. All right, so without not wasting much time, let us delve into the listings of the comparison. Okay, so for the first comparison has to do with their application categories. Now, before we get into that, what is an application? An application is a program that has been coded by programmers or developers to solve particular specific problems in this uh, today's world. So whereas we have several classes of application programs, we have web processes, we have spreadsheets, we have database management systems, we have publishing software, web browsers, and a lot. So let us look at the categories that each of these two applications falls under. Okay, so with Excel, Excel is a spreadsheet application or it falls in the spreadsheet categories, while does Microsoft Access falls in the database management system category. So basically, Excel is a spreadsheet package, whereas Access is a database management system. So other examples in the spreadsheet arena are Lotus 1, 2, 3, VCCAC, SuperCAC, etc. While as the other software in the database management system arena are MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, BigQuery, PostgreSQL, SQL, etc. So it means that all these applications in their categories perform the same task or functions. All right. Now the second category, sorry, the second comparison has to do with their main functions. So Excel being a spreadsheet application, what is its main function? It makes use of graphs charts histograms to perform complex and to perform complex calculations and data analysis when it comes to access it makes use of tables to store and manage data in the database now our third comparison has to do with your data storage capacity whereas the two applications can store data yes but then they vary sharply in the size or the amount of data that each can store. So when it comes to Excel, it has a lower storage capacity as compared to assets which has a higher storage capacity. But then let us note that <coughs> data with billions of rows cannot be accommodated in Microsoft Excel or a spreadsheet, but the opposite is true for Microsoft Assets or Database Management System because basically database systems are made purposely to store data that builds up concurrently over time, whilst our spreadsheet applications are made to host such data when it comes to analysis. Now, fourth comparison has to do with their primary data storage objects. So, which object primary does each of these applications use to store their data? Excel, in Excel, data are organized in worksheets, whilst as in Microsoft Access, data are organized in tables. We had to know that it's also possible to convert worksheets into data tables, particularly using Excel data model features. But it shouldn't be confused here as the underlying word for this comparison is primary. So basically what we are saying is that asset, it is not only in assets or tables are not restricted to only Microsoft assets. In Excel, although the primary data storage objects are worksheet or data are basically organized in worksheet, it is also possible to convert such your worksheet into data tables, particularly when it comes to relationship building in Excel using the data model features. Now, the fifth, com the fifth comparison has to do with your levels of complexities. So when, with, when it comes to Excel, Excel is comparatively, comparatively easier to use because of its compiling and analyzing techniques, whilst that Microsoft Access is a bit complex to use because of its macro level operations. Our first comparison has to do with the composition. So what, what does each of these applications contain or what are those elements contained in any of these applications? So when it comes to Excel, Excel comprises of charts, tables, graphs, pivot table, data model, etc. Whilst as assets comprise of forms, reports, queries, tables, relationships, etc. Our seventh comparison has to do with data relationships. Now, Excel is non-relational, but when it comes to Microsoft Access, it's relational. Access uses primary and foreign keys to build relationship among data tables. In recent versions of Excel, it's also possible to build relationships using the data model features. However, that requires that your worksheet be turned into data tables just as in Access. The eighth comparison has to do with the professionals that mainly works with these two applications each. For Excel, 
Normally, data analysts and financial analysts uses Excel, while it comes to access database admins, data engineers, and business analysts. Our ninth comparison has to do with how the two applications collaborate. Now, Excel performs data analysis on imported data from a database, such as Microsoft Access. Whereas as Microsoft Access stores data and exports to Excel for analysis. Now, I think for probably the last lesson in this comparison, SQL supports. Do they all support SQL? Yes. Now, SQL is a data querying language. It is used in querying data in a database. But then, this language is possible to use in Excel, whilst as in Microsoft Access 2, it is also possible to use Excel, uh, sorry, it's also possible to use SQL in building queries or querying data from your tables. So guys, this brings us to the end of this particular comparison. I believe strongly that we've all been able uh, to realize the differences uh, and the similarities that the two applications uh, have and uh, at this point in time uh, we are we, we, we will be very confident in making i mean uh, in making our selections or going about which of these two applications to use when it comes to data works thank you very much for being with me if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on a little bit notification icon so that each video that we upload you stand to be notified thank you see you in the next video